Oh, good evening to you and two of the great stories of the first portion of the boys basketball season has been the window boys off to a 5 and 0 start heading into tonight. The Eagles getting a test with Chevrus, which had lost for the first time over the holiday break in town. We go to Wyndham Eagles coming in, trying to keep that unbeaten streak going. Chevrus by eight at the half, though, but Blake McPherson, the steal to Quentin Lindsay to Crady Dixon, and making a run. Leo McNabb, great hustle play, saves it to Jamison Fitzpatrick for the basket and one. Blake McPherson for the Eagles, cooking from downtown. He had 24. Then Lindsay, the steal to McPherson, to Moody. What an ending. Chevrus was fouled, taking a three at the end of the fourth, made all three free throws to force overtime, but Wyndham would win it in OT, 67-62 to move to 6-0. They have Lewiston and then Portland this weekend. Thornton at unbeaten Gorham. The formula for the Rams, unbeaten start, threes and D. Gabe Michaud to Caden Smith, Gorham up 14 at the break. For Thornton, Rayon Cardi in transition, the steal and the pretty finish. But the story of this one, Ashton LeClaire of Gorham, the deep three off the screen. He set the school record with nine threes, finished with 31 points. Freshman Colton Jewett getting in the scoring column as well as Gorham stays unbeaten 75-41. They have Sanford and then a big one with Scarborough over the weekend. Sanford hosting Bonnie Eagle tonight in the fourth. Brady Adams drives, and hits the floater. Sanford up eight. Sanford continues to go to the basket after Brody Taylor scored. Sanford continues to go to the basket, as I was saying. Adams finishing inside. He had 11. Other way for the Scots. Brant Abbott inside the lead down to four. But Makai Bougie answers at the other end. He had a 26-point night. Sanford prevails 69-58. Oxford Hills traveling north to take on Van Gore. Pick up the action in this one. Carter Holbrook from downtown Trabian for the Vikings. They were up 10 after one. And in the second, Holden Shaw, the pretty spin on the drop step. And Oxford Hills with a big road win, 53-38 to over Bangor. Meanwhile, in Class B South, the Midcoast boys teams have picked up where they left off last year. Madomic Valley atop the heel points. And Lincoln, unbeaten at 5-0, those schools meeting in Newcastle tonight. Let's head up there. Panther coach Nick DePatsy won his 400th game last week, trying to keep up the winning ways tonight. Eagles, though, with a rally in the third. Gabe Hager, the three, he had 19. Then Casey Duncan finds Lucas Houghton for two. He had 16, Eagles down eight. But the Panthers respond in this one. It's Gabe Lash with the triple. Madomic by 11 after three. And then Mason Wen to Christian Schumann, who had 21. And Lash knocking down threes. He had 20, 77-64. Madomic with the win. That's 18 straight against the rival Lincoln. All right, Morris hosting Levitt this evening. Closing seconds of the first half. This is all you need to see for highlights. Kaylin Gould, what a rejection. That starts the break. Jack Delano ahead to Trace McFarland beats the Horn. And Morris, the shipbuilders with a win over the Horn at 73-61. to Class B South, Yarmouth trying to avoid a fourth straight overtime loss, hosting Lake Region. Good start for the Clippers. Evan Ham working in the post early on for the bucket. Lake Region gets the ball inside. Jackson Libby drops steps and goes up high for two. Clippers get out running. Coulter Olsen, the nice no look to Matt Gautreau for the lay-in. And then Gautreau finding Ham. Look out below. 70-37, Yarmouth gets back in the win column. Old Orchard Beach hosting Wells. First quarter, Caden Springer gets it outside, knocks it down. Wells took an early lead. Other way off the miss, Trot Moody hustles to the rebound, puts it back in for the goals. Then Brady Plant finds Moody in the corner. He knocks down the three. He had 13. A little later, Braden Manser buries a three from the other corner. A little Orchard with a nice heel point win, 61-51 over the Warriors. Noble boys on the road at Mount Ararat. Noble on the fast break. Ashton Mutagoma to Jimmy Rose for the lay-in. Other way for the Eagles. Nick Creek getting to the hole. The nice finish inside. Then Noble, the bench gets some minutes. Evan Ballard drives and finishes inside. It's all Noble, 62 to 42. Katie Bonk hosting Bitterford. The Rams out and running. Cole Perkins finds Isaac Jensen ahead of the pack for the deuce. Kenny Buck up 22 to 8. Tigers respond with a quick run. Peter Vitello with the basket ahead of the pack. But Kenny Bunk answers. George Vasos comes up with a steal and he's going coastal. 46 36. Kenny Bunk with the win. Now, on the girls' side, a big battle for points in Double A South as Thornton hit the road to take on Gorham in a rivalry game. 
Pick up the action in this one. Rams doing it with the defense early. Julio Reed chasing down for the block. On the offensive end for Gorham, Summer Gammon working baseline. There she is for the bucket. Thornton responds. Addison Sulikowski from Emma Lizot on the give and go for two. And then freshman Hannah Keniston working the glass and one inside as this was back and forth. But Gorham made some big plays down the stretch. This is Zoe Dellinger finding Lauren Dunbar with a nice cut. And Gorham with a win, 38-34 uh, at home. Sheriff's hosting Wyndham. Stags cruising in the second half. That's Abby Kelly finding Delia Tremble who knocks down the triple. Other way for the Eagles, Brianna Duarte kicks out. Stella Jarvis knocks down the mid-range jumper, but too much firepower for Chevers. Ruth Bowles pulls up, fills it up. She had 19, 62-28. Chevers, they remain unbeaten. Fitzpatrick with 20 for the Stags. Mount Ararat at Deering tonight. Eagles trying to stay unbeaten. Maya Gale trying to do something about it. The acrobatic finish, she had 12. Mount Ararat working on the inbounds play. Abby Doble wide open. But Deering got it done tonight. Gale steps through and won 37-31. Deering hands Mount Air at its first loss of the season. 6-1 Gray hosting 5-1 Brunswick. Brunswick's Alexis Morin cutting harder the bucket. Dragons by eight in the third. Gray ends the third quarter on a run. Alexandra Portis, the steal to Isabella Morelli. She had 11. Then some good ball movement. Gray kicking it to Portis. They're down 26-23 to start the fourth. But the Dragons put together a dominant fourth. Morin to Kira Fortier for three. Then in transition, Eva Harvey hits Maddie Warner. She had 12. Dragons end the game on a 26-3 win, a run to win at 52-26. Uh, Marshwood 0-6 at 4-3 Westbrook. Hawks down four at the break, but they open the third on a big run. Isabel Tice pushing it to Renee St. Pierre for the jumper. Then Sarah Terrio asking for it. She gets it. She had 17. Later on, Tice, the freshman, coming up with a big play, the steal, and she goes in for two. She had 14. Marshwood picks up its first win of the year, 53-47, beating Westbrook tonight on the road. Greeley visiting Falmouth. Rangers up double digits in the third. Zeta Smith kicks it out to Lauren Hester. She had 15 for the Rangers. Then Asia Kelman hustling for the rebound to CeCe Berthium. Knocking down the three. Really, 47-37. Kelman with 16 for Greeley, who won three straight. All right, Yarmouth and Lake Region. This was the game of the night. Back and forth in the fourth. Warren Keeney puts it on the deck. Clippers go up too late. Under 30 seconds left. Lake Region down two. Actually, pick up the action here. Under a second left in this one. That's Anya Powers with 0.8 seconds left, sending it to overtime. And then Powers cutting back door. Clippers take the lead. Clippers. Up two, under 30 seconds left. Lake Region moving it around. And how about this? Margot Tremblay knocks down the three. Lakers go up 45-44, just over 20 seconds left. But they go the other way. Kate King pulls up, fills it up, hits the three. And that's the game winner with about 13 seconds left. She had 22, 47-45. Yarmouth with a huge overtime win. All right, Freeport hosting Freiburg Academy. Abby Giroux finishing the fast break for Freeport. Falcons with an early lead. Then Maddie Cormier drives for two. She had 20. Freeport up six. Back come the Raiders. Mina Milosevic steps out, knocks down the three. She had 13. And then Eden True gets the friendly roll on the baseline. 35-32 Freiburg with the win. That right there is Hoops 8 for this Tuesday night. We'll have these highlights over on WMTW.com and even more Hoops 8 action Thursday night, a special Thursday night edition this week. More total coverage returns when we come back.